All right, so before we get started on functions, we actually take a mo need to take a moment to talk about sets, the sets where these functions are defined and so on and so forth. So uh, we're gonna be using this notation a lot. So the big bold-faced R stands for uh, real numbers. as opposed to like complex numbers or just the whole numbers or just the fractions or something like that. And so um, we'll be, oops, I just realized I misspelled numbers. That's terrible. Okay. Um, so we'll uh, mostly be using, um, well, this one, which is the same as R1. And so this is just going to be real numbers. And it's typically depicted as a line. So it looks like this. So there's my little picture of R, and there's a point in it. We can call him X, or maybe X1. Okay. Um, we'll also have R2. And so this is the plane. And this guy looks like all pairs of real numbers. So that little 2 indicates that there's, uh, there's two coordinates. And so we've got... Uh, <clears throat> X and Y, or quite often we'll call them uh, X1 and X2. And then we have R3. This is three space, for lack of a better word. And this is all triples of real numbers. And it's typically depicted like this. And so we've got our X1 axis and our X2 axis and our x3 axis, and I'll always number them in that order, although I might dry, draw it from different perspectives. Um, and then we can have, in general, any rn. And so this is all n tuples of numbers. And this one, I'm not going to draw, because I don't know how to. I, I might give some like goofy you know, draw something like that and pretend that I know what I mean, but whatever. In general, we won't bother drawing these kind of things. The best way to conceptualize it is just to think that it's a list. Uh, it's Every point in here is a list of n numbers like that. So an n tuple. Okay. And we will use um, set builder notation. So set builder notation is for describing some subset of Rn. So I might say, okay, the set A that I'm interested in because my function's there or whatever, something like that, um, <clears throat> uh, is going to be, so this is going to be all of the points um, x1 and x2 in uh, R2 such that, so I have this, this little bar here for such that, and, and I guess I should point out also this little symbol right here, this is element of. So x1 and x2 is an element of R2, or it's, is in R2, if you like. Um, so it's all x, x1, x2 pairs in R2, such that, and then I might have some condition. So like x2 squared plus x1 uh, is equal to three. Okay, so that's going to be some subset of um, the plane. And so in general, I will say that my set is going to be um, all things, elements of V, and then V will typically be Rn for, for some n, such that, and then P of V is true where um, p is uh, some property or condition. So all uh, points satisfying p are in the set, and only the points satisfying p are in the set. OK, and so let's do a couple of quick examples. Suppose I say that a is going to be the set of all um, x1, x2 in r2 satisfying um, x2 is non-negative. So then I would start by drawing my axes. 
And then I look at where um, x2 is equal to 0. And so that's going to be this line right here. And so if I want it to be non-negative, then it's going to be this part up here. So here's where here's the line where x2 is equal to 1. Here's the line where x2 is equal to 2. Here's the line where x2 is equal to 3, and so on and so forth. OK. Um, and I could also have something like uh, the set B. And this is going to be all of the points x1, x2, in R2 such that, um, and let's do, uh, x2 equal to zero. So that would then just be this line right here. Not a region, just, just a line. And I might have C equal to, for another example, um, all points in R2 such that x1 squared plus x2 squared is less than 1. And so I draw my axes. And let's see, so this is going to be, now I'm going to look at where x1 squared plus x2 squared equals 1. And that would be this one right here. And I'm drawing this one in a dotted line because I have this strict inequality here. And then I have to figure out if uh, I'm going to use the points that are inside or outside. And so the easiest thing to do is just pick a point, like say this one here is a nice easy one to compute, 0, 0. 0 squared plus 0 squared strictly less than 1. Is that true? Yes, it's true. That means that that point is in the set. So I must be on the inside of that boundary line. So I must be looking at this disk, this open disk right here.